Hello, this is Mystery of Cheese. And I'm Zubigat. And this is our review, or er, video, <laughs> of another one of my custom six scale zombies. And it is the crawling zombie. <laughs> my review. I'm reviewing it. Oh, okay. This looks like crap. I don't like you. <laughs> There's the crawling zombie. I don't know what else to call him. We had a. I, we mentioned one of our previous videos, we had a list of zombies we wanted to make, and one of the ones on the list was a crawling zombie, which I figured I'd make someday. I'd just get a six scale figure and rip it in half. But I ended up making this a little sooner because my sideshow six scale Ghost Rider just broke at the torso. I took him out of the case one day and he just was all floppy. I'm like, what's going on? It's, he was just broke. So the issue I had with my sideshow Harley Quinn, where it broke at the hips and well, it was useless. The same sort of thing happened with the Ghost Rider, except that it wasn't the same joint, it was up at the waist. It's where it broke, but I don't know why they're using this cheap plastic for their figures, but... Yeah, it, was, it was a black plastic too, it looked like the same yeah, stuff. Yeah, it looked like it. So I ended up getting a different body for the Ghost Rider, fixed him, and I figured, well, I'm gonna use this ripped in half body to make my six scale crawling zombie and there's several heads we bought to use as zombies and one of the ones that we've seen that I was like I want that one is Remus from the Harry Potter movies <laughs> I found that on I forget what site it was but some site that parts out figures I don't think it was Monkey Depot but it was one of them sites Toy Anxiety or World of One Sixth or something but I stuck it on my body just to see what it would look like if he was a crawling head, and I really liked the way he'd look on the crawling body, so that's the one I used. I thought this figure would be pretty easy to do, but I ended up making it harder. You always do. I do. <laughs> well, the one thing is, I wanted to be able to see a lot of his skin, and I just wanted to kind of experiment and see if I could make like a spine and rib looking effect through his skin. And uh, my idea was to just stick some like flexible uh, I forget what they're called like elastic round elastic flexible strings to learn I don't know what you put them in clothes like bungee things yeah bungee looking things I had a bunch of them and I cut them up and stuck them in there for his ribs got like this foam to make his little spine glued it on there and then went over it with latex and TP well I think it was actually Kleenex Latex and Kleenex and uh, pour it over top for the skin so then it gives the shape of his ribs and spine and it works. I think it looks... I think it's turned out really good. Yeah. I like the, the shading in between too. really makes him stand out. Mm -hmm. And I wanted this arm exposed, at least one of the arms. So I made skin go over the joints so it was seamless. Only problem is the Latex isn't as flexible as I was hoping, so it's... Well, it's moving more than I thought. <laughs> but up at the shoulder is a little tight. It doesn't want to... I want If I want the arm to come over here more, like that way, it doesn't want to go. So I can... Cause like, if I wanted to go over there so he's reaching up, it's a little harder to get how I want it. It's still possible, but it's just harder. See, there he goes. <laughs> He's resting on his testes. Yeah, that's something I tried to fix. Is he's like, I wanted him the stomach flat down, but his, his intestines are very resistant. They want to, they want to be down there. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a strong gut. They gave him some big wounds there, to, and also cover up the joints. One thing is it made his wrists really fat. I thought about ripping it all off and shaving down his wrists and hands so it'd be skinnier, but. I was like, whatever. And it maybe just got swollen skin there or something, I don't know. So, I'm just leaving it. Well, it's, it's a learning experience. If you do something like this again, you'll know to do that. Yeah. And I don't think it looks that bad. The wrist watch covers it up pretty good on the other side. Oh, and what I did to cover up the joints was I put cloth over the, all the joints that I cut from a t-shirt or something. And then went over it with latex. Because the Kleenex wouldn't be thick enough to cover up the joint. And it would get pinched more. Yeah. For this one, I just stuck a watch in there to help cover up the thick wrist. And I think that works. 
bought a six scale shirt, or I already had one, I forget. Just stuck it on him and cut it all up so that it shows most of his chest. And I didn't put any skin right here. You can look in there, you can see. So that he has lots more movement in this shoulder, so it can go all around. I like the way he did the shirt. Yeah, it's really ripped up. <laughs> this is a rag around his neck. <laughs> and also put latex attaching to his face and down to his neck. And a little bit of cotton in there to give him some thickness on his neck. I remember you said you were worried about doing too much to the face because you liked it how it was. But you wanted it to look like it went with the body. And I think it turned out pretty good. So this head can move a tiny, tiny bit. It would be nice if it could move more, but whatever. He's a crawling zombie. Yeah, he doesn't really need that much articulation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did the thing. same thing with the ribs and the sternum there with the, the same... Like, Bungee stuff? Yeah, and the foam there. And... And down here, the spine came from a, a female head that I ended up using on my six scale white dress zombie. That head came with the king zombie, who came with a severed female head and a spine, but you can remove the spine and use the female head on a body. But since I used that head, I still have the spine, so I stuck it in there. Worked out pretty good. <laughs> and then I made the intestines. Most of these are that same bungee, but with latex. and. Kleenex over top of it, and paint. This one right here is some of that stew groove or whatever. And just try to make him a longer intestine out of that. So that's what all that is. And whatever with some latex and cotton around there to make that all messed up looking. And painted it. And also he had some he has some wounds in his arms. Right there and there. I bloodied up some random wounds here. And also try to make like down here all dirty and bruised up looking because he's crawling on it. Yeah, I was just about to say I like that, I like how dirty his hands are because he's crawling around on the ground. So, hopefully the zombies can't feel pain because if they do, he's, he's probably in a lot of pain. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you can see this, this arm can bend seamless as long as the latex lasts. This one can too, but I'm mostly just gonna have that one like this. You've gotta lean on something. Yeah. But yeah, the, the Remus head worked out really well. He did have like sharp fangs because he's partially turning into a werewolf in the Harry Potter movies, so I had to cut them fangs off. And then I just bladed him up, put blood in his eyes, did some detail over all the latex I put on there. So, he looks really messed up. <laughs> In a good way. He looks really mad. Yeah, I love his expression. <laughs> it's really good for reaching up, screaming at you like he wants to get you. It's, it's ridiculous how happy it makes me when I find a six scale head with a good expression. Yeah. Like, I want it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's way too many serious expressions. Not even serious, but just like, blank. Yeah. Like completely emotionless. Mm hmm. Well, just to show articulation, there's not much. It's head can kind of wiggle around a little bit. The shoulder right here is the best spot for articulation. That can go all over the place. The elbow can bend a little bit. The wrist can just kind of wiggle around. And this shoulder can move a little. This elbow, like I said, we can bend it, but not really much need to. And this horse can move a little bit. And that's about it. You don't wiggle his intestines around. No, you can do that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the six scale crawling zombie figure. Another one done. I think you turned out really good. Thanks. <laughs>
other other six kill zombies we're working on slowly, so there'll probably be more. Yeah, I had some other projects I had to get done between lines. I haven't started on another one yet. But I have several that are sitting around with stuff to make them. I just haven't started working on them. Yeah, me too. Well, let me know what you think. This is Mr. Cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Well, what's wrong with you? I ain't got any legs. Well, you're in luck. I was a doctor when I was alive. I'll fix you right up. Lickety split. Thank you. I'm so sick of crawling. I can almost never catch a human. Ah, uh, here we go. Now to get to work. <laughs> the humans won't stand a chance once I get back on my feet. Well, you won't have to wait long. I'm finished. You're now good as new. Thank you. I feel better already. Let me see them new legs. What the? What is this? I know. Can you believe it? There was a seven leg leg right over there. What luck. <laughs> no, come on. We got some humans to kill. This is so awesome. They're going to start calling me the Flash. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Clementine from The Walking Dead. And you are watching Mr. Evil Cheese and Zombie Cat. Don't be a shitbird and subscribe already. Do it. Thanks. Thanks.